Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. There we go, we're starting right back, we're picking up right back where we left off on planet... I think, what planet is this? Now I gotta look it up. Oh god. Uh, that's the only time I'm gonna do that, because I don't want to skip the cut... I don't want to skip the cutscene. Uh, Kerwan, okay, we're on Kerwan. Um, yeah, there's, there's a cutscene for getting in and out of the ship, and... I don't want to skip it, so I I um, won't be doing that again. I thought I could maybe, you know, get inside the ship to find out what planet I was on and then easily get out, but it, it takes a minute. Uh, ooh, quick select. Oh, that's right, I can change that around. I forgot all about that. Wait, what's items? Found two, remain two. Where, what? Oh, I, well, I guess I don't have any items yet. That's for later. I'm still learning. It's been like... It's been like 15, 20 years since I played the game. It's no big deal. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, man. Uh, I wonder what I should do first. I think I should do the obstacle uh, course first. I think I'm supposed to. Oh, man. And there's that familiar music. Dun, dun, dun. That's another thing that was really cool about the original is that each planet had its own unique music. I really loved that. And also, I think they took out the whole exploding uh, TNT boxes. Or they made it so that they don't do the time thing. Welcome to the Captain Quirk Fitness Course. If you're strong enough, fast enough, and clever enough to beat my fitness challenge, you will receive a reward from my head trainer. Simply make your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck. Quirk Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidental death incurred while taking the challenge. Excuse me, Captain, but we have more pressing issues. We urgently need your assistance. Clank? Yes? Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil? This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. It's a robot. Oh. oh. <laughs> Clank seems so disappointed. That's right, fitness fans. Just make it to the third island to claim your reward. And don't forget to tune in this week as I, Captain Quark, appear in person to present the grand prize for the hoverboard championship held in Blackwater City. Okay. Uh, I guess uh, I was supposed to come to this point at first because I believe at the end of this obstacle course I get the uh, swing shot, uh, which is actually needed on the next planet, which I did previously. I did the other planet first, but I had to come back for the swing shot because I didn't have it. So I did do it in the right order, I believe. Uh, so we'll complete the obstacle course and get the slingshot now, which is friggin' awesome. I love the slingshot. You know, that's another question. Was it swing shot with a W or sling shot? It's got to be swing. Because a sling shot is, you know, uh, the thing you pull back with the rock in it that, you know, damages enemies. So this is the swing shot. Oh, I don't even have to touch these. I can uh, do the thing. Hang on. No, not that thing. This thing. There we go. I mean, that's one way to do it. Oh, God. Boing, boing, boing. God, I can't wait to play the third. I can't wait to play the second and third games. And maybe Deadlock. I don't... Oh, of course my computer can handle it. I got a, like, an up-to-date machine. <laughs> of course my computer can handle it. Handle it. I hope. Uh, I mean, as long as it came out on PlayStation 2, I should be able to play it, no problem. So I've been thinking lately, right? And um, I just came up with this idea 30 minutes ago while I was making some coffee. So maybe this will pan out later on in the future. It's weird. Everything I'm doing right now, it won't do anything right now. It's all for future days, you know? See if it'll work out. Um, I've been thinking maybe for my channel I could do like on Sundays. I could have like a nostalgia day. But playing all these nostalgia games... Um, it won't really... Oh, and that's a secret, too. That's another gold bolt over there, but I, I won't get there until much later. Um, um, playing all these nostalgia games on just one day of the week... These moving walls also function as jump slots. Jump and jump again to kick off the walls in midair until you reach the top. 
God dang it, not having that one bolt is going to get to me. Um, I was thinking on Sundays I could play these nostalgia games but upload two videos from the nostalgia games, uh, you know, twice per day. Like, once in the early morning and once in the afternoon. That way I could actually make some progress because there's at least four or five of them just off the top of my head that I could think about that I want to play. That I will play because um, no one is actually, I don't know, a lot of people probably won't see it because a lot of people don't follow the Russ Robo channel news, but I'll discuss it here as well and probably in several of my other videos. I've decided that I'm going to play things that bring me back to my childhood and my teenage years or just games in general that I enjoy. Even if they're brand new games, they might be brand spanking new. They might be the newest, latest Let's Plays that, uh, you know, that's super popular and actually what I'm supposed to be playing for a Let's Play channel. But I'm only going to do it if I enjoy it. Because I'm not going to play things that I don't enjoy. Because I, it's just, it costs, it, it takes away my inspiration. And I'll discuss that more later after this cutscene. You lard balls! That was the most pathetic display I have ever seen on that obstacle course! What do you mean? We finished the circuit, ma'am. Oh, yeah, but it was weak. Weak, weak! When I was competing, I would devour courses like that for breakfast! <laughs> Bet that's not all. If it were up to me, you would drill, drill, drill for the rest of the day! But somehow you managed to impress that fool Captain Quark! Captain Quark knows about us? He certainly does. And worst of all, he wants me to give you a prize for that ridiculous performance. Cool, what is it? I'm supposed to give you a swing shot, so you can sway to and fro like little insects. All right, let's see it. Not so fast. Today, the two of you disgraced my obstacle course, so I am going to make you pay. But that prize is ours from the captain. That's not fair. Too bad, life's not fair. I love it. I freaking love it. They took out so much in the remake, and literally, like, oh god, I'll discuss more later. Sweet! I bet Captain Quark uses stuff like this all the time. Ha! Real men can swing without silly toys like that! The two of you make me sick! Congratulations on your new Gadgetron swing shot. Use it on standard Versa targets like the ones nearby. If the target is out of view, use the L1 button to aim. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, that character does not reappear in any other Ratchet and Clank game that I know of. Um, they took her out because she was seen as too culturally offensive. Uh, the fat joke that Ratchet made, offensive. Her accent, offensive. The fact that she's depicted as an overweight robot, offensive. Like, the safe space generation pretty much took everything out of good video games, but I love the fact that I got to play this before it got so censored, you know? I really, really do. And there's nothing wrong with having a safe space and saying to somebody, hey, that offends me, uh, calm down, calm down with it. Like, if it's really, really offensive, but so much of this game and the remakes got completely destroyed uh, because people were just offended by it. God, look at that. And then you can do this. And get those bolts. And this one, you can swing! And there are whole obstacle courses later on that come from that. Ooh, I think I, I thought I almost missed that. Oh, God, I can't wait to do the obstacle courses. Like, like the ones designed for the uh, swing shot. But yeah, uh, I don't think she appears as any other character in the any. I don't think that character uh, appears in any of the other games. Um, mainly because it's just she was too offensive or something I'm not sure to me I I don't see it as offensive like it's I can get where it's I can get where they're getting the idea of offensiveness from because of the cultural stereotypes and whatnot but to quickly center the camera just tap the L1 button okay let me do that um, so many things have changed nowadays with games and stuff um, to take out offensive content, and I, I, I can understand. Maybe it's necessary. But at least these games still exist in their original forms, so that if you're okay with that kind of, uh, 
humor, you can play it on an emulator if you ever want to go back to play it. I mean, it's odd because, I mean, now game, nowadays we're looking at... You ever notice that in our modern times, like, we got games about, like, Doom. Think of Doom, for example. I mean, that's way more offensive than some of the cultural stereotypes that are depicted here. I mean, you're, there's so much blood, gore, violence, sexual, uh, or, like, like, it, it, it's odd. You'll notice that the only games that get censored are games that come out with, uh, like, highbrow humor, or whatever it's called, where it's targeted towards a uh, a younger audience, but there are jokes in there that are meant for an older audience, and then it gets <laughs> it gets censored later. But the games that come out that are meant to be, you know, highly controversial and offensive from the get-go, like adult-rated games, they don't normally get censored because from the very beginning, they're designed to be what they are. They're designed to be a bit extra. I can get him to blast this dog. I just trying to make sure I don't get hit myself. And I should probably quit playing around. There we go. Oh, I missed his bolts, but that's okay. But yeah, you, you notice certain things like that. Like, um, I, I would recommend... Well, I can't recommend anyone plays the remake. It's so bad. God, it's so bad. But if you really want to know what they took out from this game... Oh, look! Um, another thing I talked about earlier. There's an incentive to come back to this area now because I don't have the helicopter pack yet. But I will later. Um, oh boy. Oh. A weapon I'm missing on the next planet that I would get would make this fight a lot easier. Uh, in fact, this ooh, part is almost... <laughs> it's kind of difficult without that weapon, so I'm just going to do it and try to not get hit too much. Oh, he's going to try to run down there if I let him. I should have let him, just for the fun of it. Man, there's so much to talk about. It really is. Oh, God, it's... I mean, why play the newest, latest games that I've never experienced when here I know what I'm doing? You know, I'm halfway decent at it. But yeah, you can just basically skip him. He's, uh, he's easier to deal with when you get the blaster and rocket launchers and stuff. And I'm not going to break every single lantern, because I... Trust me, uh, I might be desperate for bolts now, but eventually playing this game enough, you're going to have plenty of bolts. I think, you can also, um, I think you can also farm this guy. No, not him. Uh, there's one later that drops those uh, bulldogs instead of the bombs. But yeah, you don't want to step on those mines because uh, they deal damage. But uh, let's... Uh, oh, he picks them up. I didn't realize that. I forgot all about that. Let's uh, get rid of him. Oh, for crying out loud. Come back around there, good buddy. What the heck? Oh, that was the sound of him just wasting ammo. Should I just skip him? Stop doing crap. Stop it. Woo! Got that. Oh, I thought he was going to hit the dog. Oh, God. Boom, there it is. Okay. Oh, no, I wanted to interrupt him. Oh, he got me first. Oop. Okay, I gotta stop doing that. That is not going to prove to be an effective method. But hey, you learn. You live and you learn. It's it's whatever. Oh god, please no. Actually, was there an achievement for breaking all of these? But but we didn't have achievements back then. We didn't have trophies, right? Oh, the trophy must have been for the remake then. Yeah, yeah. Because I forget, I played it all the way through. Um, stop it. Oh god, stop. I played it all the way through, um, I'm sorry for those of you that triggers, I'm sorry to those of you if that triggers your OCD that I didn't break every single lamppost, but I know you don't want to sit there and watch me do that. Let's say I did it off camera. Ratchet, that's the man we saw on the Infobot, remember? He knows Captain Quark. Hey, you're that robot guy, right? No, actually I build robots. I myself am not a robot guy, per se. <laughs> Nerd. I like him. Oh. So, now that we've cleared that up, what can I do for you? Well, we saw your Infobot announcement. You were with Captain Quark. We're trying to find Captain Quark. We thought you could help us. Your logic is commendable. However, I haven't seen Captain Quark since we shot that commercial. Say, do you run on standard XP-18 sister boards? Version 7.66. Back at ya. I may be able to help you out after all. 
How does a helipack upgrade sound? Upgrade? Natch. Since he's a 766, I could have the little guy up and flying in no time. Of course, uh, I'll just need my fee for service. <laughs> they make everything so cheap now. Well, it didn't seem cheap back in the day. Okay, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, wait. Bracket, am I cool now? <laughs> yeah, you the man, Clank. You're welcome. I love it. They took so much of that out of the remake. Um, gosh. Oh, it's so nice to hear the scenes. I like... Try using the Helipax boost jump feature to climb these boxes. Press the R1 button to crouch, then jump. And of course my nose starts, it, uh, starts itching because I'm recording. That's to be expected. Um, hover pack time! Whee! See what I can do now? And then I can do... You'll need your new Helipax stretch jump feature to cross this gap. While you're running, crouch using the R1 button and then jump. But uh, I, I did that before it even had the opportunity to tell me. Oh, it's good. God, it's good. And the, the, uh, the original voices, the original lines, unchanged, exactly as they were. I don't know. Try using the glide feature of your new helipad. Jump, and then press and hold the X button in midair to glide. <laughs> Can't believe these guys give me even the slightest amount of trouble. They don't really, but you know, I don't have the weapons really to deal with them right now. I just have to use my wrench is the most effective method uh, for dealing with them is my wrench. God, I didn't realize this entire recording I've been way too far away from the mic. I hope, um, I hope it still picks up my audio. I need it closer to me. But anyway, um, yeah, hearing the original characters and the original audio is just so good. I always used to like to do that. God, my nose. Oh, that's the thing you could farm that makes the dogs. I thought it was the dude doing it, but no, it's the, uh, it's that, um, thing right there in the center. Uh, yeah, see, it's making more of them. And you can farm them, um, I think they give less bolts the more you do it, though. I'm not sure. Let's find out. I'm just gonna take them out a little bit. See if I can farm a few bolts, not do it indefinitely. See how many I can get. I've got about, let's say, 2,200 is what I started out at. 2,200. Come on, fellas. Oh, God. No way! Oh, what? Oh, wow. No way. I'm actually about to get KO'd. Oh wait, is there, oh god, I couldn't remember if there was anything beneath me. Uh, let's go back and get some HP! I'm pretty sure I left some back there somewhere, and uh, I'll be back with you when I'm uh, feeling better. <laughs> yeah, it, like, it, it's the same uh, concept when people play, like, hardcore Minecraft servers. Um, they don't expect to get knocked out, and you can. You can easily get knocked out, even in Minecraft. And every time it happens to somebody, they're always like, Ah, oh, no way! I can't believe it! Not possible! And they absolutely lose their minds because they don't think that they can get knocked out in a game that's for, you know, what they would consider to be in a, a younger audience. But it can happen. It can easily happen. I'm not ashamed of it. You're done. Oh, gosh. Stop running away. Oh, my goodness. See? I took a hit. Some, some players don't even want to take a hit on anything that's not Dark Souls. But it can happen. It's fine. It's gonna happen. Deal with it. <laughs> I, want to, I want to complete the game. I'm not trying for a perfect playthrough. That's no way. I don't like those. I don't want aggravation. I like... I mean, I play my games sometimes on the normal or hard difficulties. I don't try to make it too ridiculously impossible. Gotcha. Now you fire first, and then take you out. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I don't try to make th uh, things too impossibly difficult. Um, I usually play uh, Skyrim, for example, is a, a good reference. Oh. Uh, not done yet. <laughs> that was my uh, alarm telling me to stop recording. I'm not done yet. 
So uh, we'll probably uh, end this off in the next section. But um, yeah, Skyrim's a good reference. For example, um, I can play that game um, uh, on legendary difficulty, but I usually wait until I'm a much higher level in order to do that. So I do like to challenge myself uh, sometimes with the higher difficulties in uh, certain games, but I usually wait until I've you know got a pretty decent feel for it. Um, I can't remember if this game has it, but in the later on Ratchet and Clank games, there is a new game plus option, which comes up with a more uh, like it, it does become more difficult after a while. You know, like or the new game plus is more difficult than the first playthrough. So it gives you a new challenge. But you have your weapons and ammo already, so that makes it interesting as well. Figured I might do that for satisfaction reasons. Maybe that was very satisfying for somebody out there. <laughs> Breaking those boxes all at once like that. Uh, oh gosh, can I still get up there? Because I need to get up there for the, um, for the secret. Oh god, did I just ruin it? I think I just ruined it. Oh no. You have to use the boxes to get on top. Ooh, wait, can I get... Can I maybe grab a ledge here? Grab a ledge? I was just up there. I am so sorry. Did I ruin that? I ruined it. <laughs> oh no. I have to be able to show people the secret. How do I reload this area? You need to get on top of here so that you can fly over to the other area. Oh god. Wait. Oh. I guess you don't have to do it from on top of there. Can I get on top of here? No. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of dogs. I can deal with them. As long as I know which angles they're coming from. And yes, I could probably use this to farm bolts, but um, I won't need them. I mean, once you buy all the weapons, you kind of wind up with 9,999,999 anyway. Which, again, that's what I... again. Uh, that's what I had on the old PlayStation uh, 2 version of this game, is I had, not not on Ratchet & Clank though, uh, I think it was Ratchet & Clank, probably Going Commando and Up Your Arsenal, where I got so many bolts that it lagged the game and almost crashed it. Um, raise your hand if you, uh, raise your hand if I'm not the only person that that actually happened to. It can happen. Uh, you can get so much gold, like so many septums on both Oblivion and Skyrim that you break the game. Um, it comes from a generation of grinding game players. I mean, we're in there for the grind, man. We'll, we'll get it. Whatever currency there is, we will acquire it. Um, <laughs> attract females, acquire currency. That's, that's what we do. <laughs> Oh man, it's great, it's perfect. Um, gotta get through the next section pretty quickly though. I think it's the last section left remaining. This nice little uh, train battle. Which I also don't remember from the time that I played this while I was intoxicated. So won't be doing that no more. Gonna play this on the up and up. Uh, they kept this train fight uh, in the remake, which I actually really enjoy. I think they changed maybe a thing or two about it, but it's pretty much really similar, almost the same. Uh, I oh, he might get me. Okay, that's the range. Um, I still get the bolts from the guys even if they dropped. As long as I oh, he got me. God, are you kidding me? I'm getting hit on a on such an early game. Oh gosh, hit and then hit and then he's off. I don't know. I like that it still throws me off every now and again. I'm happy for that. Oop. Gotta make sure not to fall off. Infobot time. And my ship is actually directly beneath us. In case you didn't know. Uh, should I hit, what should I hit him with? Wrench. The most powerful weapon in the game. Um... Let's see now. Most versatile weapon in the game. Whee! Uh, let's do this thing. Here, this will be very satisfying. Ah, uh, satisfying. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, let's get that info bot. Jump over these. 
glide over these. You know what really gets me? Why are they green sometimes and then red sometimes? Those ones are green and these ones are red. But those ones are going to turn red when I get close enough to them. Yeah, there it is. Is it a proximity thing? I mean, I know I can set them off with my wrench to get rid of them so that I don't have to deal with them, but look how long that takes. I ain't going to do all that. Just clear a path or just jump over them. Infobot time. Greetings, Executive German Drek. Dispense with the pleasantries, Lieutenant. My sources tell me you're behind schedule. You must prepare this planet to be harvested for our new world. Yes, sir. As you can see, everything is moving along as planned. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. And as your former commander can tell you, I don't take disappointment well. Yes, sir. I won't fail. Gosh, it's so perfect. Drek is destroying yet another planet. Yeah, but if that's the kind of help he's getting, I don't think we have anything to worry about. You should not underestimate Chairman Drek. He is quite dangerous. We must find Captain Quark. Look, that lieutenant doesn't seem so tough. Let's take him out ourselves. Perhaps we can persuade the lieutenant to tell us where Drek is. <laughs> now you're talking. Nice. It's so perfect. Ah, oh, it's great. Uh, and then they took those audio lines out as well. Um, secret. Yes, gold bolt right here. Wait, no? Oh, okay. Maybe it was in the remake. Still a secret area though with, you know, some bolts. Oh, I have the jet, I have the hover pack now. Maybe I should try to make it to that one thing I saw earlier. I can't remember. I think you have to go... It's the last thing we'll do, I promise. Uh, I'll skip to me getting there. I think you have to go to the top of one of the platforms used for this obstacle course and that can get you to an area where you can get another gold bowl so I'll will I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up now and skip you to when I get to the top of the platform and we're here okay I believe you jump and then hover glide from here yes it is okay ready steady steady go and then hold X and you can look around as you slowly drift. And I don't think you can get up to that top part, so don't don't even don't even worry about that. Just ignore it. Okay, you don't want to catch that. Look, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yes. Oh God, what was that? I love it. Uh, it lagged for a minute there, so I'm not sure what that was about. I'm gonna. I like blowing these up. Look how satisfying that is. Except for the one that didn't explode. Anyway, let's do it again. <laughs> oh, stop lagging. What? What's happening? Why is he doing that? Oh, God. Maybe I need to take a break. There we go. Maybe my computer needs a break. Funny story, though. I didn't realize this. Apparently, there was a small scratch on my uh, disc back when I used to play it as a kid. Because one of the scenes was actually slightly different. Um... Originally, when I played it on PlayStation 2, when Ratchet and Clank left his uh, starting planet, um, whenever whenever he go, whenever he looks out, uh, it's supposed to have him going, "Whoa!" So that's where I've been stuck at all this time. But apparently, my disc was scratched, so on mine he went, "Whoa!" whoa, whoa. That's where I've been stuck all this time. <laughs> he like glitches out or something. It's it's interesting. But since this is basically equivalent to a digital edition, there are no scratches. Because it's made on an emulator. Oh man, so cool. I think, um, on one of the other games when you come to this planet, there's a section where you can, like, fly a ship around this area. I can't remember. There's lots of space battles and ship battles that happen later on. So look forward to those, I guess. Anyway. This episode has run on very long, extra long. Oh, wait, no, there's one more secret, I think. Is it under here? If it's on the remake and not on here, I'm actually going to wind up KOing myself, but I'm going to take the chance. Ready? Okay, it should be underneath here. Yes! Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, you can't fake this stuff, man. I know this stuff, man. God, I know it from back in the day. Oh! And when you come back with the blaster, um, it's easier to do with the blaster. But uh, these ships, I think you can uh, farm them for bolts as well. Hang on, let me see if I can get the old aim controls going down. 
No? Okay, it's better to aim with this one. Though. Yes! See? Infinite bolt farm. Eventually you, uh, eventually you only get like two or three, but I mean if you're willing to wait. Um, this method though I think uses up more ammo than it's worth, I can't remember. But uh, I usually did it with the blaster, or using this seems pretty easy. Um, you can get as many bolts as you want, as long as you can afford the ammo. Um, if you don't want to use ammo, I think you can use the wrench, but you have to time it. See if I can get that timing down. Yeah, yeah, that's the timing. You might miss one or two every now and again. But if you can get the right pattern to where the wrench comes back to you at just the right amount of time, you can farm these ships. There it is. There it is. Yeah, I'm going to miss that one every now and again, but it's free bolts. You can do that indefinitely. And if you can position yourself just perfect, you can probably get both lanes at once. So, yeah, that's an easy way to get the Rhino. Um, there's a lot of, oh god, there's a lot of ways to farm bolts in this game. Way a lot of ways. But I won't be doing any of those cheap tricksy ways in order to get the ri bolts for the Rhino. I'll be getting the Rhino the old-fashioned way by farming some of the earlier planets that I've already been to, and by doing the extra stuff that I couldn't get to when I didn't have the proper equipment. So I'm just going to go through the game the old-fashioned way, I think. I can't remember uh, how difficult it really was to get the Rhino originally without using the cheap methods, but that's at least one of those cheap methods that I remember. Ah, good times, good times. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, this episode has run on a little long. I'm going to end it off here and start it off on the next planet. I think it's called Kerwan. I'm not sure. This might be Kerwan for all I know. I don't have the memory. I don't, I don't have the planets memorized, like the names of the planets memorized anymore. So you'll just have to bear with me. But we'll be starting on the next planet to meet Skid McMarks and get our hoverboard. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And until next time, take it easy, my friends.